Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to crochet these cute baby booties. I'm gonna show you how to make these booties in size 0 to 3 months. And what you'll need for this project? You'll need this type of yarn. I'm going to work with yarn called Cozy from Durable Brand. And you can use the same yarn as me or any other yarn with the same parameters. They recommend a 5 to 7 mm crochet hook. It's 50% uh, cotton, 50% polyacrylic. Uh, it's 50 grams and 66 meters. I will use two colors of this yarn, so it's up to you if you will use just one color or two colors or three colors, it's up to you. And also I'm going to use this fluffy yarn called Teddy from Durable Brand. It's so soft and cozy material. And I will use just small, small piece of this yarn. Next, what you'll need is 4 mm crochet hook, 3.5 mm crochet hook, pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers and measuring tape. Okay, because I made already one pair of shoes with the same yarn, just click the link above or the link in description of this video and you can find there how to make the sole. Now find the middle of sole and we have to start in this right back loop, but just in this, in this uh, first back loop I will grab also this loop. So I will use these two loops for the first, uh, first chain. It's a little harder, but uh, do, it, do it the same because if you will grab just one, um, one back loop, there will be a little, little gap. Okay, so we will not use stitches like always, but we will use just this back loop, just in this round. So now I'm going to take uh, the lighter color of yarn, pull it through and then chain one. And how I said, we will use just the back loop and make one single crochet in each the back loop all the way around. So now chain one and then one single crochet in every back loop all the way around. So from now use just the back loop, just one loop and continue working one single crochet in each back loop all the way around. Then meet me back again and I will show you what next. Okay, I forgot to hide this starting tail behind my work, so I have to, I have to take the yarn needle and uh, sew it and hide it inside the sole. So now I'm going to make the last single crochet and then we have to join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. And I didn't tell you I'm working with 4 mm crochet hook. Uh, the sole, the length of sole will be about 9.2 or 0.3 centimeters with 4 mm crochet hook. You can use 3.5 mm crochet hook or 4.5 mm crochet hook. It's up to you, maybe you tighten more or less than me. So if you tighten more than me, 
you should use 4.5 mm crochet hook. If you tighten less than me, you should use 3.5 mm crochet hook. So the length of my sole is 9.3 centimeters and you should have about 9 centimeters the length of sole. Okay, now count 18 stitches in the front part of shoe and mark these 18 stitches. And now we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker. And you should have 16 stitches on the left side and 16 stitches on the right side. So you can start with chain one and then you have to join the round with a slip stitch at the end of each round or you can work in a round as me so first single crochet has to go into the first stitch and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker okay now we have to decrease so we are going to decrease the front part of shoe and now I'm going to use just the front loop for decreasing. So this is the loop what I will use if I decrease. And decrease uh, once on the start. So make two half double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into the front loop insert your hook into the next front loop grab the yarn pull it through both these loops the front loop and this front loop you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops and this is how I decrease uh, two half double crochets together. Now make one half double crochet in the next two stitches. This is first half double crochet and second half double crochet in next stitch. And now you have to decrease again. So make two half double crochets together and repeat this series to the stitch marker. Okay, now you have to make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. So you should, you should make 16 single crochets. Okay, now mark again 18 stitches in front part of shoe and you should have 28 stitches left okay now uh, we have to decrease also the, the back part of shoe so make two single crochets together on the beginning of this round so make two single crochets together uh, if you want to follow me use just front loop like before and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker So you should make one single crochet in next 12 stitches. If you will have any questions, write me here below the video. If it's not enough understandable for you, write me here below the video and I will help you with pleasure. Okay, now we have to decrease. So make two uh, half double crochets together 
and then make one half double crochet in next stitch and decrease again so make two half double crochets together and then one half double crochet in next stitch and repeat this series to the stitch marker then you will continue working exactly the same as on the other side so you should make one single crochet in next 12 stitches and at the end of this round you have to decrease so make two single crochets together at the end okay in next round uh, mark 12 stitches in the front part of shoe and now we have to decrease in the back part of shoe again so on the beginning of this round make two single crochets together and then make just one single crochet to the stitch marker And now we have to decrease again, but we will decrease a little different than before. So now make two half double crochets together. So it is, it is exactly the same like before, like in previous rounds, but now will be a little change. So now we have to uh, decrease in the next eight stitches uh, two double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into the uh, front loop grab the yarn pull it through now you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn pull it through two yarn over again insert your hook into the next front loop Grab the yarn, pull it through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through two. And grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops. This is how I uh, how I decrease two double crochets. How I make two double crochets together. Repeat it three more times. okay so we've decreased four times two double crochets together and now make two half double crochets together then you have to continue working exactly the same as uh, on the other side so make one single crochet in next 11 stitches and then decrease at the end of the round so at the end of the round make two single crochets together okay I am at the end of the round so how I said I have to decrease also at the end of the round and that's all just cut the yarn and pull it through Okay, now uh, we are going to make the back part of shoe, the, the highest uh, part of shoe, and you have to mark 12 stitches in the front part of shoe. And we will not uh, crochet this part. We have to start in this stitch and pull the yarn through chain one and now we are going to make just single crochet so make one single crochet in each stitch to the next stitch marker and i'm going to hide the tail behind my work because it's easier for me so you can follow me if you want or then you can just uh, sew the tail with uh, yarn needle inside the shoe
it's up to you but this is i think this is better way how to hide the starting tail And now in this part it will be seamless, don't worry, just make one single crochet in next stitch. And both tails I'm going to hide behind my work. So make one single crochet in this stitch and next single crochet in next stitch. You can see it's seamless. I can cut all these tails because it's already hidden. And now just chain one and turn your work. And make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side, to the end of this row. Start always in very first stitch. So make first single crochet in very first stitch and continue working. Okay, I'm at the end of the row and you can see here is the chain uh, what you made what you made uh, on the beginning of the row. So you have to make last single crochet in this chain. Then chain one and turn your work again and make six rows like this. So make six rows of single crochets. Okay, I'm going to make a last uh, single crochet or last slip stitch. I will not make single crochet, but just slip stitch. You can cut the yarn and pull it through. And we have done the back part of the shoe. Okay, and now I'm going to make the border of this back part shoe. Uh, if you want, you can follow me, if you want, you can leave it like this without a border, but I think it looks nicer with the border. I'm going to use this fluffy yarn, uh, it's called Teddy from Durable Brand, it's so soft, it's so cozy and you will like it, it's really soft and nice material. And I will work with double yarn, because it will be thicker and it will look nicer. And I will crochet with 4mm crochet hook and how I said with the double yarn. So pull the yarn through the first stitch in this corner. And chain one. Then you have to make one single crochet in next five stitches. And this chain uh, count as single crochet. And because we made uh, six rows of single crochets before, now you have to make five single crochets. So make one single crochet in next five stitches. And I'm going to hide the tail, the starting tail behind my work like always.
If you want, you can follow me also on my Instagram profile at Thomas Sheep, or you can send me uh, photos of your project. Okay, and now in this space. Uh, you have to make two single crochets in the same stitch because we need to we need to um, we need to make a right shape of corner. So make two single crochets in the same space in each corner. So now continue working one single crochet in each stitch to the next corner where you have to make. Two single crochets again, and then one single crochet. Okay, uh, my border is done. Now I can cut all tails. And now we have to uh, finish the front part of shoe. So you can remove uh, both stitch markers. We, we don't need them and take a new end of the same color of yarn. Insert your hook into the first stitch and pull the yarn through. Chain two. One and two. And then we have to decrease and I'm going to hide the tail, the starting tail behind my work again. And now we need to make two double crochets together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first front loop, grab the yarn and pull it through. Grab the yarn, pull it through two. Grab the yarn or yarn over, I'm sorry. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next front loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through. You have four loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through. And then grab the yarn and pull it through. Three loops. And repeat it again three more times. Oh, I'm sorry, four more times. So you have to decrease five times. Okay, and now you have one stitch left. So yarn over, insert your hook into the, into the last stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through and make normal double crochet. And now it will be easier because we are going to make just um, single crochets. So chain one, turn your work and make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this row and start always in very first stitch. So first single crochet uh, has to go to very first stitch. And last single crochet has to go has to go to this chain. So this is last single crochet of the row. Then chain one on your work and repeat it again and make six single crochet uh, six rows of single crochets. Okay, I have done six rows of single crochets. Now chain one, turn your work. And now in this last row, start in the second, not in this first stitch, but in the second stitch and make first single crochet. Then one half double crochet. Then one double crochet. Then 
one half double crochet single crochet and slip stitch slip stitch in this stitch and that's all you can cut the yarn pull it through and sew all tails inside the shoe and you can leave it like this if you want or you can follow me because I'm going to make a border around uh, around this part of shoe so insert your hook into this stitch in this corner and pull the yarn through new end of the yarn and now I'm going to make one slip stitch in each stitch uh, to to the end so to the next corner and on the top of this part of shoe on both uh, both sides I will make two slip stitches in the same stitch Okay, continue working one slip stitch in each stitch and here and here make two slip stitches. And you can see it looks better like this. Then you have to sew all tails inside the shoe and that's all. Okay, and now we are going to make shoelaces. So use 3.5 millimeters crochet hook, make a slip knot and then chain 110. Or you can use just the piece of yarn and that's all. It's up to you. And when you will have done your shoelaces, you will just pull it through somewhere here on three on three spaces and that's all. And you have to make exactly the same also the second shoe and that's all. And how I said if you will need my advice just write me here below the video and I will help you with pleasure. I also I also will make a written pattern of these shoes so it will be in four sizes but I don't know when it will be done so be patient and I will let you know then when it's done okay and my um, my shoelaces are done just tighten it on both sides and cut the yarn and that's all so I really really hope you like my video you like this pattern you like these shoes and I will look forward at the next video thank you very much for watching have a great day and see you very soon bye bye